Welcome to Study Guide Forum. Today we will be analyzing um, the mixture of sodium triosocarbonate and lead triosonitrate 5 in preparation for the forthcoming chemistry um, qualitative analysis. Uh, in the analysis, you will be that it will be a mixture of the two compounds mentioned at the ratio of 1 is to 1, which will be tag C. So, in the analysis, what you are likely to expect there, what you are likely to expect in the first test is to add water to C. Shake and filter. When you shake and filter, you observe um, partially, partially soluble under the observation, partially soluble, white, white residue, and colorless, colorless filtrate. Filtrate, meaning that in the inference, what will be in the inference is that one of the compounds, one of the compounds is what? Insoluble. Insoluble, one of the compounds is insoluble, or you can say one of the compounds is soluble. Because it's what partially soluble. Now, the from the the portion portion of the filtrate plus, plus conk acid, conk tetrasulfosis acid plus copper tonics plus heat. Now, when you heat it, you notice what brown brown ring brown fume. Sorry, not ring this time. It's fume. Brown fume forms. Now, note, I want to uh, pay particular attention to this copper tonics. Um, actually, with concentrates of acid acid, you still get the same brown fume. Because all, um, all volatile, acid, uh, volatile acids, they are always dis displaced by what? Concentrates of acid acid. So you can also displace that. Also, what we have here is what? Brown fume. What exactly? What we have in that brown fume? In the inference there, it means that we have um, nitrates 4 or nitrates, transfer nitrate 5 ion in it. So what we have here, present. So we we'll go over to the next one, the third portion, portion of a portion of nitrate plus freshly, freshly prepared tetra, freshly prepared ion. Ion two tetra other surface six plus conk acid. That is, this conk acid will not be poured directly, just a kind of slightly from the slight uh, point from the gently into the test tube that you're using. You notice the uh, what you observe there, what you observe is what um, brown ring. Brown ring forms at the junction of the two layers. So what it confirms here is nitrate. Confirm because that's the characteristic uh, test for them. Nitrate, trizo nitrate five ion confirm. So the next one to the residue, we move down to the residue. Now when we come to the residue, the portion of the residue plus dilute dilute tri dilute triazo nitrate five, we will notice an effervescence. Effervescence um otherless Colorless, colorless gas turns, turns lime water milky, turns lime water milky. On the inference, what should be in the inference will be carbon four or Hydrogen triazo carbonates for 
Are you on? No, this one is one. And then um, try also carbonate. Cap try the carbonate for ion um, confirmed. Confirmed. That is what we have. These are the possible source of possible source of the carbon carbon four gas. So let's continue with uh, what we have. Okay. Now the next one we have there is um, the mixture. The mixture from what we got in a, a four plus dilute sodium hydroxide in drops. Then in excess, what we have there will be. We are going to have um, white precipitate. White precipitate. White precipitate. Um, that is a drop. Then soluble. Soluble in in SS. Soluble in SS that confirm the presence of the likely ions we see there is what zinc ion, lead ion, aluminium ion. Likely present. So from the same mixture from four above aqueous ammonia. What we notice there will be white precipitates, white precipitates, white precipitates, that is in drop, soluble, soluble in, insoluble, it's not soluble, sorry, it's insoluble, insoluble, in insoluble in SS insoluble in SS that is to say what we have here will be aluminium ion lead ion likely likely present so the same mixture from um, IV above plus dilute hydrochloric acid will have white precipitates white precipitates the white precipitates is soluble okay this will be plus heat plus heat the white precipitate is soluble when Soluble when hot, when hot, insoluble, insoluble when cool, confirms lead ion. That is the inference. So, what we have here is lead ion confirmed. So, that's what, what we have here. So, and the other ways you can confirm lead altogether, you can use a, a potassium iodide that will give you yellow precipitate. Yellow precipitate of what? Um, lead iodide. Or you can also use a, a hydrogen sulfide gas. But when you add hydrogen sulfide, you have a black residue, black, black precipitate that also confirm lead. Uh, thank you so much for coming this far. We'd like you to subscribe. If you have any question, make sure you leave it as a comment so that we can always attend to you. Don't forget to subscribe if you are coming for the first time, if you are watching our video for the first time, and then like. Thank you.